Welcome back to Learning Inkscape, and this time I'm going to show you how to create a color wheel. Yet another question that I've gotten. If you've got Inkscape questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll make a video about it. In this specific case, I'll just create a rectangle first, and I'll control when I do. Let us start with a red color, and I double click on it, and then I drag this plus sign downwards while holding control. Then I go to Edit, Clone, and Create Tiled Clones. I need the rotation menu up here, and I want to make 24, so 360 degrees divided by 24 is 15, so I use that for row and column. And now, make sure that your rectangle is selected, then click on create. Let me show you this, if I have 23, you can see one is missing, so it's going to be stacked in 15 degrees increments, and 24 is the one that we need to fully Create a circle. If I select them all, I can change the fill color. But if I select them individually, I can't because they're clones. So to be able to do that, we need to first select it all. You can press Ctrl A for that. And then go to Path and Object to Path. And now we can select them individually and give them a different fill color. Let me just use red and yellow. This one's a problem, it needs to be behind to the right side and on top on the left. Let me first select it all, Ctrl A, and then I hold Shift, click on the X to get rid of the stroke. So how can we solve this problem? I'm simply going to use the Bezier tool and I've got the snapping active and I activate the snap to paths and I create on this half of the rectangle. Let me make that green so that you can see it properly. We don't need this one, so I delete it and the one behind right here. Let's delete it as well. And then I press Ctrl D on the green one and copy it. And I put the copy to the right hand side. Put the second part below. So that's solved, but we still have a problem right here. And it doesn't matter how you rearrange the other ones can see that there will always be a problem. So we need to draw that by hand as well to have the correct stacking order. Let me first give this one the correct red color. And I get rid of the stroke, so once again hold shift, click on the X. And now we solve this issue. Best way is to put it on top and use the Bezier tool again. Still snap to pass as active. Give it the right fill, no stroke. And now I can put this back again. What I may have drawn is a little bit too big. So let me size that down. You can see that will work. But it's a good idea to hold Shift and Control when you size it down and then reposition it. Just like this, the snapping should help. So we've solved that problem as well. You can see sometimes you have these, let's say, fragments. So it's a little bit of a white line. Just rearrange the first half, disable the snapping for that, and then rearrange it. And now this white line is gone. Now we only have to take care of these sharp edges if we don't want to have rectangles. Let me enable the snapping again and I've got snapping to the rotation center active. It should snap right here to the plus sign. If it doesn't, for whatever reason, sometimes Inkscape, a little bit of a bug. Just create your circle holding Ctrl and Shift. Then select both. So our color wheel and the black circle in this case. Then go to Object, Align and Distribute. 
and align it vertically and horizontally. So now we know it's in center. Size it up, holding Shift and Control. So we've got the inner edge covered. Then I'll press Control D to copy the circle. Let me give it a red color. Size it up once more, holding Shift and Control. So I've got these two circles in the center and our color wheel. Now Shift click on the two circles, path and difference. I've got the circle and our color wheel. Select it all, Control A, right click and set a clip. And this is how we can create such a color wheel in Inkscape. I hope this solves the problem. As I've said, if you've got Inkscape questions, just let me know in the comment section below. If I can answer them, I'll make a video about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.